look at how we're going to program this robot. And so we're going to name each of the motors in relationship to where it is on the robot and then apply a motor port to them. Those motor ports are going to relate uh, to its position on the cortex. And when we go into Robot C and select Motors and Sensors Setup, we're going to set those names in under our Motors tab and select that they're all 393 motors. We're also going to indicate that our right side is reversed. And what that does is it allows it to where if I code that this is going forward at 63, um, I don't have to set my right side to be negative 63. I can set it also for 63. When I select OK, it's going to develop a pragma. The words that I added are going to be in blue because it's not known yet. When I compile my program, they will go to red and they will self-populate the code, which will be nice. When we start programming, we need to think about how we want to use our remote. And so we've got the joysticks right here that our thumbs are going to be on. And we're going to have the right side control the right side of the chassis and the left side control the left side of the chassis. And then depending on if your driver is right-handed or left-handed, and if there's anything else to do, we're going to use the H motor on our right side uh, with these pins. To write the code, all we have to do is type in the motor, the name of the motor, and what vex cortex channel it actually relates to, or sorry, remote channel. And that channel comes from the location of the numbers here. And then we write an if statement for our H drive. 